Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Talentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a flash flicker effect in Camtasia 9. All right, so I'm here on our YouTube channel right now on a specific video where I do the flash flicker effect and it can be really cool if you've got the right type of music and the footage and then you add this effect it really makes for a cool feeling and this is one of my favorite dream driven episodes that we created and one of my favorite parts in this video is the flash flicker effect and Ari, my business partner she actually suggested doing something like this in the video but Camtasia doesn't have that as a, a pre-made feature, so you actually need to create the flash flicker effect yourself. So I'm gonna show it to you guys first, and then I'll show you how to do it. All right, so here is the video, and you'll see, you'll see it. All right, so when you watch the entire video, it goes really well with the song and it was like the perfect moment because there was like the crazy beat that was happening and when you matched that with the flash flicker effect, it was really cool. All right, so I'm here in Camtasia 9 right now and I've just got a test video that I'm going to place onto the timeline here just as a test and I'm going to mute this so that I can just show you what the flash flicker effect looks like. So, okay, this is a test video of me. And how you create the flash flicker effect is with some shapes. So you want to head over to annotations and under this uh, square circle is the shapes. And you want to use the black square rectangle shape um, or I actually haven't tried it with the white but I, the way I did it in that video was with the black and you're going to be using that type of a shape to go over the video essentially what's going to be happening is the shape is going to be happening so fast on top of the video it looks like it's like flickering but really you're placing a shape over it uh, for a small amount of time so next what we need to do is in order to get it to go that fast, you need to have the black rectangle shape happen really quickly. So we need to stretch out the timeline so that we can make the time of the shape really short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the plus sign here and I'm just going to zoom all the way into the video and I've gone max on the magnification here. I'm actually just going to bring up a little bit of the audio just so I can just see just a tiny bit of it. Hold on one second. Okay, so as you can see, we're totally zoomed up on this video in terms of the magnification of the timeline like we've stretched it out completely. So now we're going to head back to the shapes and we're going to drag one of the shapes down. Now, when you put a shape down, it's gonna be like really, really long because you've zoomed up. So you actually want to make short snippets of it. Now you can play around and choose however long and however short you want it, but this is essentially what you're doing. So I'm gonna click the S key to cut it, or you can click over here to cut it and I'm going to delete this portion here and I'm going to head back to the black shape and I'm going to size it accordingly over the video so it covers it and I'm going to quickly play it and see what that looks like. Hey guys! How so as you can see it was like a really quick like flash like it happened so fast. I'll play it again. Hey guys, how's it going? So it was like almost like a glitch that ha that happened. So what you want to do is duplicate this over and over 
during the part, the area of the video that you want the flash flicker effect. Now it's best to do this when you've got a crazy part in the song and the beat is going really fast and you actually want to match these little shapes to the beat so that it goes accordingly like you saw in the video there. So an easy way to duplicate this shape is to go Control C while this is highlighted and you know it's highlighted because there's a yellow around it. So I'm going to click Control C and then I'm going to move the, mount, the timeline head accordingly and I'm going to go Control V which is paste and you see it's pasted another one and then I'm going to paste another one, Control V and let's just do five as an example. Now, if I had the proper music, I would be matching these little tiny rectangles to the beat where the flash is going to be happening, the flash flicker effect. So that's what, that's what I did in the previous video. And if you want to see that video it, in its entirety, I'll have it in the description below. So I'm going to do one more, Control V, and I've placed five there to show you guys what it looks like. So let's play it. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Time. So as you can see, it's happening so fast that it couldn't even compute it. And if you hover over and you drag it across, you can see that it's going in and out, in and out. You can play around with how wide you want this and if you want these to be spaced out even further and sometimes you can't preview it properly because it's happening so fast and it's glitchy that you actually need to render the video, produce the video, check out that section to see that it's good and then go back to it and see if you need to alter. That's what I did for that video. I had to render it about three different times to check the final product to see that that the flash flickering effect was done properly because it was too crazy for Camtasia to play a proper preview when I'm doing such tiny split second uh, flashes on when I'm editing. So it's okay that it's not playing properly when you're editing. It will show up properly when you render it. So let's see if it'll play a little bit here. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel. T so as you can see here, it shows it a little better when I when I spaced it out a little better. I'll play it again. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel. T so it gives this kind of like cool effect when you've got a crazy part in the song happening. So that is how you create the flash flicker effect in Camtasia 9. Like I said, it's really cool to add this to your video when you've got the right song and the right footage and you do it in the right places. It looks really nice on your videos. So that is how you do the flash flicker effect in Camtasia 9. If I was able to help you guys out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you like these types of Camtasia 9 videos, head down to the description below as I'll have much more free tutorials for you guys. And if you have a question about Camtasia that I haven't covered in a video, place that in the comments section below and I may just create a video on it. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.